Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to align an engine that is really badly off. Um, the reason why this is important to do the alignment is because you damage your coupler and your gimbal bearing. Um, gimbal bearing is one thing to replace but the engine coupler you have to remove the engine and it's fairly expensive. So what you will have to get yourselves are, um, is actually this tool. This is the alignment tool. I do have the proper tool um, for this application, which is this one here. However, it is so new that the splines um, hit this end and then it's really hard to get it in. So I'm gonna have to taper this down a little bit, but uh, for today, what I'm showing you is basically how to use this tool. Um, and I'm gonna be using this one because it's actually a little more worn out and making it easier to do the alignment. So. Uh, number one, what you're going to do is put the alignment tool in and then when you push it in all the way, you'll, you're not supposed to feel um, any restriction, uh, if any, barely anything. So if you don't do this, you will destroy the coupler and elbow. So um, don't do it. Don't put it in without this tool. So this one here is really bad. I can't even push it in whatsoever. Um, it's nothing wrong that was done. It's just that removing the engine, putting it back in. Um, one eighth of an inch makes a big difference on this end. So now, uh, what I want to show you is how to try to get this as close as possible, especially if you're doing this alone. So I can't get the tool in, and if I go back and forth inside the boat, out of the boat, uh, it's gonna take forever to do. Um, so you wanna know whereabouts you should be going. So two ways to do it. Um, usually put some grease right at the end here. You put a little bit of grease and then when you slide it in, you'll see uh, approximately where it's touching and then you basically um, go from that to try to bring the engine up or down. So the side to side should not ever be an issue. If it is, you've got other issues because the side to side is actually pretty stable with the rear bolts on the transom mount. So um, you shouldn't have to worry about that. But I'm going to show you a little trick. You're going to make yourself or get yourself a pipe like this. Uh, in this case, this is actually a hardened steel one. Really good one. I'll be using this uh, going forward. But you can get yourself a piece of aluminum if you'd like. It needs to be exactly one inch. So then you're going to insert this inside the housing. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but we are off a slight bit. Basically, um, it's going down a little bit. So, this gives me a good idea that I have to basically drop the engine down. Um, so, if you can do this with your one inch pipe, don't forget, you've got a bit of play here. So, don't go from that and think that that's your alignment tool. Um, it may work, but it's not recommended. You still need that tool. Um, you can pick it up on Amazon. Uh, basically uh, under 200 bucks but if you get the complete kit with the bellow installers and all that stuff it's nearly 400 bucks but makeshift at home this will give you a good idea one inch pipe um, or one and one eighth will be really tight but it'll work and uh, yeah so basically what I'm going to do now is uh, bring the engine down with the main mounts so I will just quickly show you here and uh, you get the chest of it to be able to so uh, here are the engine mounts now you should not have to touch the rear mounts back here um, like I said if the side to side is giving you a hard time that's probably because see on these Cobra drives are kind of nice they've got washers to uh, to sit in properly so if you've got a side-to-side -side motion, um, these might not be sitting in properly. So make sure that that's right. And then um, you're going to readjust. So in this one here, I'm going to put, um, remove the top lock nut and um, remove the, or lower, loosen the lower one. And we are going to lower the motor. So I would recommend doing it maybe one turn at a time and you're going to do the same thing with this side so 
Um, if you see here, I'm actually, I've loosened up the bolts because I wanted to move it left to right just to make sure that it was sitting properly. So before you start anything, make sure that those are nice and tight. Um, all four um, front lower mount bolts. See, I've taken them off completely here. Reason for that is because I wanted to clean around them. Um, I never noticed all that dirt before I put the engine in, but here I am now. So I'm going to put those in and readjust it. Then you're going to check it out with your one inch pipe as close as possible. And then you'll do the final work with this guy. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys and uh, really like you to be successful with this. Reason why I'm doing these videos, I'm not super comfortable with doing them, but um, I look online, um, I find a lot of good posts, good people out there, and uh, they've got a lot of ideas, and sometimes I put the ideas together with another one. So I guess you can call it, I'm stealing some ideas, but hoping that my posts will, uh, will help you guys out and uh, see how it goes. Anyways, hopefully it was helpful. Uh, sorry it's long-winded, but hopefully you got the gist of it. All right, um, enjoy, have fun, keep safe, and hopefully it works out for you. And talk to you soon.